But the real riches of Transkei are to be sought neither in its towns, industries, agriculture, nor scenic wealth. The mother load is in the people, in the new generation being groomed throughout Transkei to become tomorrow's leaders. Nearly half a million scholars taught by 10,000 teachers in 2,000 schools. At the college for the sons of chiefs, headmen and councillors, young Giliswe, sons of hereditary chiefs and headmen learn to become leaders in their own right. Yes? Living organisms grow. Schools and colleges teach academic and commercial subjects. Education in the Transkei encompasses all the streams of learning that flow together to generate a people qualified for the business of running their own country. For those with technical aptitude, the rudiments of woodwork and joinery are taught, while others prefer an apprenticeship in motor mechanics and learn the workings of the internal combustion engine and how to maintain it. But of what virtue is education if it cannot be shared by the handicapped, the crippled, the blind and deaf? In caring for its physically disabled, Transkei has set standards that other developing nations can envy. At the Equesi Lukuzo School for the Cerebral Palsied, children are given the opportunity to become useful citizens. Intensive therapy under the care of trained teachers strengthens muscles and restores the use of limbs. Well, those able to work are trained to become skilled potters, tailors or even carpenters. <laughs> 